Okay, let me come back. Let's try another one. It was cool that last one. I can hear the birds chirping in the outside. I'm not outside. I'm I'm inside, but I'm I'm near a window. This microphone is pretty sensitive. All right, so let's try uh, 3D2 now. And these are getting much harder. So 3D1, God, that's really bad. 3D1, we were um, we were doing the expansion, right? Is that right? Expansion. We we're doing like the 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 um, when you distribute, when you do your FOIL method. Now we're gonna, we're gonna try to factorize. So we're gonna start at the end and go backwards, and it's really going to get trippy, I would say. So we're gonna have to really keep consulting. If you have your book open, you're gonna keep going back to those five archetypes, those five perfect patterns. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. There's five of them. They're all with generic like A plus B times A plus B. What is it equal? So now what we're going to try to do is see what pattern is uh, is presenting itself. So let's start with just number one A. Let me show it. Let's do one or two together. Five to the two X plus four to the x. So I think the first step is like, is there anything quote unquote obvious that stands out that we want to start with? And whenever you see like um, that, whenever you see the, the x, and I think all these problems right have exponents in the, in the, they have, check that, they have a variable, the letter x, in the exponent place. That's what we mean. So if they have the variable plus they have a whole number, like this one has the two, maybe we split it apart and then we can create something a little bit more interesting that we can work with. So, right, because then we could say that's five squared to the x power, hmm, which would be 25 to the x power but plus five to the x. That's not necessarily obvious at first. I kind of like it the other way. What if we flipped it and we saw it? five to the x power squared plus 5 to the x power, because now I have 5 to the x power twice. So it feels like I can do a, a, a distributive or a, like, a, you know, the, the opposite of distributive. I can take a 5 to the x out, and so I can take it out, pull it out of the parentheses. I'm still going to have 1 5 to the x here, because 5 to the x times 5 to the x, that's 5 to the x squared. But then I'm going to have a 1 here. So I'm going to 5 to the x times 5x plus 1. And I think that, is, we can't go any further than that. I want to double check and make sure that I got that right. So I'm looking at the answer key. And so we're in 3D2. So yeah, that's right. So let's try another one. All right, maybe these first, these first problems, number 1, are all going to be just straight factorized. Let's jump to 1E. We'll see how that one goes. 1e. So it's 6 to the n plus 2 minus 6. I'm going to write 6 to the 1, just so I remind myself, like it's a power. So once again, now we have, we have a, a variable in the power, in the exponent place. Now we have a plus 2. You know, we've been doing problems like this, 2n. Now you have a plus, so how do you... What happens when you plus? We have to think backwards. So I'm, if I remember right, you plus when you have the, when you multiply the same base, right? When you have two of the same bases, then you add the powers. The, if you wanted, if you multiply them, if you raise a power to a power, that would bring it to six to the two n. But this is this is different. This is n plus two. So to this first scenario, it's not that scenario. So it means that means to undo it, we would be six to the n times six squared minus six to the one. Oh, now did that do anything? Well, I see a lot of sixes. Hmm. Could we start pulling sixes out of everything? Could we do that? Hmm. Could we pull a six? out of that first one and say that's six times hmm no I'm a little bit six to the n 
Hmm. No, you can't pull it six. Six to the n is like it would be six to the n minus one. <laughs> right? That wouldn't be because how do I? That doesn't does it help us? I don't think that helps us. Minus six. Now you have like this big old term and this term. And now you could factor out another six. Guys, I'm in struggle mode. Six times six to the n minus one times six minus one. Right? Because that, that if I bring that back in. Does that help at all? And now could I combine that back together again? So I, I bet you that I did something. I could have done this a lot quicker. Because that's now, you have the same, you have 6 times 6, you have the same base, you can add exponents. So when you add those exponents, that negative one and that positive one become just n. So now I have 6 to the n minus 1 with a 6 outside. Wow. Is that even right? I'm going to look at that. That's, that's 1e. And... Oh my goodness, I was so close. They have 6 to the n plus 1. Why n plus 1? What did I mess up on? I must have made a mistake someplace earlier up. Mm. Maybe start this one again. This is, oof. This is... Tricky. Start with a fresh mind. All right, six to the n plus two minus six. Hmm. Hmm. So what if we just saw n plus two is just um, just like the letter a, the six to the a minus six? Could I factor anything out of that right off the bat? 6 to the A. Oh, yeah, I see. Think about this. Mm. So 6 to the A, we don't know what it is, right? But it's like something like, let's say A was, was uh, 5, 6 to the 5th power. That's like 6, 6, or 5, 6 is like. That's, I'm just making an example, if that's what um, A was. And then minus 6. So if that was the case, if you pull the 6 out, if there were five of them, there'd be now there would be one less. So now there'd be four. They would still be there, and then minus one. So, do you see that? So if think about it, whatever a is, when you factor out a six, there's going to be one less than a when you factor that six out. Because when you bring it back together again, that six is going to go in there. It's going to join them back up. So the th th that works with n plus two. So n plus 2, let's say n is just, let's say n is 3, just as an example. That's really then, if n is 3, that's 6 to the 5th power. So that would be 6 to the 5th minus 6. So you could factor 6 out. You'd have 6 to the 4th, because 6 times 6 to the 4th is 6 to the 5th minus 1. Hmm? So since we don't know what n is, I can't, like, go to the 5th or the 4th. But I know whatever n is, when I factor 6 out, I'm going to have 1 less. Is that, are, you, are you feeling me? Are you feeling me, dogs? So, um, if you're still with me, because this is a long video. So, it's going to be 6 to the 6 n plus 2 minus 1. Crazy! Because it's going to be 1 less since I pulled that 6 out. Minus 1. So, that's going to be 6 times 6 to the n plus 1 minus 6. Or, I'm sorry minus 1. And that is, right, that is what the final answer, let me double check. If it's not, then I'm going to just go do something crazy. It is indeed the final answer. That is tricky. So uh, you guys struggle a little bit with these, and uh, don't feel bad if you don't get them at first, because you just saw me make that mistake. Right, let me post this up.